Hey guys, uh, Schematic Wayne here. Here's the uh, next segment here. Uh, we're going to be installing memory. Now, as you do recall, I do uh, recall me telling you guys that you must read your instruction manual. Don't just go in and do things just because you think you can because you're going to make a stupid mistake and in the end, you're the stupid one. Uh, so, what we're speaking of is the memory. There's memory slots. They're colored. If you haven't read your manual, you're not going to know where to put your manual. Now, on Gigabyte, um, I forgot what page it's on here, but it's real short here. Oh, so page 16 of this manual here um, says when you have a three channel mode cannot be enabled if there's only one or two DDR3 modules are installed. When enabling three channel modes with three four or six it is recommended that the memory same capacity brand speed chips are used. When enabling three channel mode with three memory modules be sure to install them in the DDR3-1, DDR3-3, DDR3-5 slots, sockets. When enabling three channel mode with four memory modules be sure to install them in DDR3-1, DDR3-2, DDR33 and DDR35 sockets. So on the actual physical motherboard it's going to tell you real small about the little DDR slot. So again, this is going to have to be in DDR1, 3 and 5. We're going to install this in there. All right guys, uh so we're down here again and um we're going to be installing the uh memory uh, into here and uh, as the last segment said uh, there's a certain way to install memory pause alright so uh, yeah we're gonna install this uh, memory that I'm getting ready to open up here uh, there's a certain way these memory sticks go in there let me get you a zoom in uh, off aim there we go. So, let's see if we can get better. Uh, yeah. Whoa. All right, so these slots right here we're going to be dealing with right here there's these white ones and the blue ones the ones that we want to focus on are the white ones because those are the one three and five so I will be installing those in there next segment all right so uh, we're getting ready to go ahead and uh, install the memory in here uh, one thing you want to keep in mind is the notch there's a notch on each memory and if you don't put it in correctly might break something so pay attention alright guys uh, so I went ahead and got that memory installed and this is what it would look like I'm not real good at this camera stuff unfortunately So right there, those gold, those gold-plated memory boards, <laughs> jerking. Sorry. There. So those these gold-plated right here. There's your memory. Uh, also, you want to make sure is uh, there's these little bridge slots that you need to open all the way. They flare all the way open. I'm using an empty slot right now. Make sure you open both sides when you put the memory in. And then when you slide in, make sure the slot goes in because there's a notch. And then press one side down. It clicks. One side down. Clicks. Alright guys, so um, <coughs> we're going to go ahead and install the, uh, the fan controller. Uh, 
Make sure your hands are dry. This thing was a bitch to come off. Sliding off was a bitch. So, uh, yeah. We're gonna take the, uh, this thing and we're gonna install it on the bottom. Hey guys, uh, so I just got done installing the fan controller, the PCI fan controller. Uh, you have to pull, pull hard. Don't give up. Make sure that your hands are really dry, not slippery. Pull. You're not going to break it. Hold it still. Pull the little knob. That's right, I said knob. Sicko. Anyway, you have to pull the knob. It slide right off. And then you just sort of put that device down here. Uh, let's see if we can get zoom. Zoom, 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 zoom. So you see it right here? Fan controller. Yep. Alright, so we're going to move on to our next step, which is we're going to put in the graphics card. Alright, so uh, we're going to also do the installation for the uh, SSD bracket. Uh, yeah. You need that because the drive is really small, and at the end it's supposed to look like this. So that's what we're going to go ahead and do. Alright, so uh, we're going to do the uh, installation of the SSD. Uh, with the Cooler Master you can just remove these bays out of there, so uh, that's what we're going to be working with. And uh, we'll move on to the next step. Hey guys, so um, I finally uh, got the uh, SSD mounted to the bracket. Uh, this bracket is by uh, Thermaltake. Uh, I decided to went with them instead of the uh, OCZ bracket. This thing looked pretty funky looking. Uh, I mean, I guess you could use it, but this looks a little bit more stable, firmer, you know what I mean? So uh, we're going to mount this inside there, inside the chassis, and uh, we're going to move on. All right, so we finally uh, installed the uh, SSD into this slot here, and uh, that again was a pain in the ass. This design right here by Cooler Master, the little there's prongs inside that you sort of stick in the side of the drive. Didn't really work out very well, but you know how it is with computers. It's just the way it is. So we mounted the SSD. We're going to power those up by the uh, SATA cords and everything later. Um, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is install the Western Digital Hard Drive as our secondary hard drive for our files and uh, work files and stuff like that because all kinds of things are going to be scattered. You don't want to do that with an SSD uh, because it looks like the SSD will uh, turn into a regular drive, which we don't want because 60 gigs is that small and you don't want to mess that up and it's very expensive unless you like to burn money alright so uh, the next thing we're going to go ahead and do is uh, install this one terabyte western digital black hard drive that's just gonna pop right in pop right out Poison, do not eat. Okay, slide that out. She slides right out. And you just sort of angle that sucker on there. goes in. That's what's important. Yeah. So 
it, pull it on top. Everything coincides. Uh, yep. Looks good. Both sides are good. Nothing's moving except for this side. Probably the worst things ever. Uh, there we go. Jeez. Make this a hassle. For, is this thing moving around? All right, so we're good. Let's close it up. Uh-oh. I think we're going to run into a problem here. That's not normal. Again, this design really sucks balls. We'll see what happens. Put that some bitch back in there. And snap. That bitch won't snap. I break it. That bitch won't go in. Yeah, this design really sucks really bad. I don't fucking understand. <sighs> now that you get to experience frustration here. What in the... One more. If you would just close, we would be okay. But this is the Cooler Master's fault right here. Let's try again. Going in. Going in. 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 That bitch in there and close a gate. This is just not working. We're going to have to find another route.